hello everybody welcome back to the channel in this video I am going to show you how to update your PS4 and the newest version and how it installs so start off with this is a Linux distribution and as you can see now I'm going to the toolbox which is the settings for the update you go to system software update You view the details of the update if you would like. But I chose not to. And I scroll down and click next and then the operation happens. So to give you a little bit of detail about this, this is Linux. The PS4 runs Linux. So with that it kind of updates uh, the way I put this is like your iPhone sort of so it gives you it tells you the system where we start which you just saw and it, it downloads the file now here's the interesting part about this is the system restarts and it goes into another kind of weird screen that is installing and what's cool about it is it's almost it looks almost like um, a safe mode and what it does is it updates the Linux kernel. The Linux kernel is uh, uh, like the System32 folder for Linux. So as you see, it is downloading. And this is, wasn't a very big update for the uh, OS uh, the maximum as you can see is 490.2 megabits which is actually very very decent for a system update So it's preparing to install. Just like Apple iOS and Android, it prepares the update to be installed. So what it's doing is, is it's basically you get a download package. Uh, is what in, in a Linux terms, I've said this before, they call a zip file a tarball. So what happens is, is basically the system is unzipping that tarball. So that's what's happening now. And what's nice is it does automatically reset. So you don't have to intervene. Um, the PS4 itself what will happen is is it will restart and the power light will flash
So once it's done, uh, the uh, system will tell you that it is restarting. So you get that screen. This is also the same screen when you turn it off or go into rest mode. All right. So the system is now restarting. What you're going to see now is that system software update screen. This is physically installing the update itself. And as you can see, it's not going to take very long. All right, the system restarted. This is the boot splash screen for the Linux OS that's running on the PlayStation. Uh, Sony added their own for that, and it's rebuilding the database. What that means is if certain features have been lost, um, it can rebuild the database from uh, certain things. Right? And it tells you it's been updated. Go back into the settings. And there you go. So anyway, that's it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.